Yo, what's poppin' my peeps? It's your boy Crooks the Great back at you guys with a banger of a UFC 4 video and today we're gonna be using the newly added Patty the Batty Pimblet in the lightweight division and as you guys can see we're going up against Dustin the Diamond Poirier aka the OP man himself in the lightweight division. Now for those of you guys that are newer to MMA or that don't know who Patty uh, Pimblet is He's one of the most polarizing up-and-coming fighters. Uh, he has a huge, huge following out in the UK. Uh, and he's he's really starting to become quite a, a household name in the UFC. So that's why they added him here to UFC 4. He has 90 strike speed, 90 stri uh, striking power, a 91 off the back, and an 89 top game. So he doesn't have the best stats, but we're going to try to get this dub here. So this is not really what we want to be doing. We don't want to be standing in the pocket with Dustin Poirier. Just because Dustin hits like a damn truck in this game. So we're trying to utilize the movement. Uh, Patty Pimblett's movement is very, very nice. It feels very fluid. He's not like kind of just uh, stiff is what I would say. He's not real stiff. So we're just trying to move off circle laterally, not just backing up straight. But this guy is doing a good job of just applying a crap ton of pressure. So we clinch him up, hit him with the two knees to the head, try to go for the takedown, but it was on the release, so we didn't get it. He's trying to jab and chip away at our block, which is smart. We're double jabbing back just to break down that block and still threaten him. So we're going to try to get some damage in on the feet. I'm just really testing out Patty Pimblet's combinations. He doesn't have the best boxing combos from what I've seen so far because this is my first time ever using him. So there he hits us with a nice block counter uppercut. Hurts us, drops us right there. We're in a lot of trouble, but... Patty has a solid chin. He, it holds up. We're circling off the cage. Trying to fight back. Good pull counter right there by him. He's got our block down real, real low. Got a double jab. We're trying to fight back. Good slip counter right there by him. We pull countered that hook. Saved us there just a little bit. So here we're trying to gain some momentum back, but we're I'm kind of over committing on shots right here. I need to just take my time, let everything reset, let my head health go back up, and then try to push forward kind of like I did right there we also need to move our head just a little bit more and anticipate more with hooks so there we catch him with a clean three piece back him up just a little bit trying to catch a slip counter if we can hit him right there with a good two piece rock and go down to the body then back up to the head now we're pressuring him just a little bit trying to get him to back up but he fights back right there we're just trying to take our time. We're not trying to get any more damaging shots landed on our head. If he goes to the body, it is what it is. But we're going to try to slip everything that comes in a, a longer string combination. Right there, he hit his, broke his block down, but we weren't able to capitalize on it. Just taking our time. Not rushing anything. And when you're using Patty, you got to not to rush. And then there we actually do get a nice little knockdown right there as we are being patient. So we've got most of that damage back as the first round ends. We, it was looking real ugly. I'm not going to cap. It was looking real, real ugly for us in the first round. I'm not going to lie. But we were able to make that comeback in the second. Now we're going to try to test out his ground game as well here in the second round. Just to mix it up. And get him, uh, get him pushing that low block. So there we clinch him up. Hit him with a knee. Try to go for the takedown. But he's on it because he's seen us going for it last time. But he didn't expect a single leg. And we hit him with it right there. Now... Patty is known as a good jiu-jitsu fighter, so we're not too worried about him being on the ground. We just need to not get stuck in that rubber guard. That's really not where we want to be at. He blocked that transition. We block his rubber guard transition. Posture up. It's lagging just a little bit right there, but those arms are going to allow us to potentially get that, that sweep, but it didn't happen. So we're just punching the body, taking our time. Finally got the GA. We got him stuck in an animation, so we were able to block right there, which is going to give us more GA. Take that top mount quickly. Now we're in a very, very good spot, we, but we miss on the denial. That's all right. Posture up. Go to side control free because we had a stamina advantage for those of you guys that are new to the game. Go for the side saddle. We do so successfully. This is a very, very good spot for us to be in. We're elbowing away at his head. Look at his head health is starting to go down lower and lower. Try to go for a side saddle again. He blocked it. Good stuff. Hit him with an elbow. He tries to go for the sprawl, but we're on that denial because everybody tries to go for that. But he did it a second time 
with mixed up timing. So we're just going to go ahead and take backside right there. He rolls to full guard. Smart, smart guard play. But we posture up. Get him into half guard. Punching him to gain that GA. Now we have two minutes left. So we're not trying to rush. But he hit us with a nice, clean setup to be able to get the sweep to full guard. So here we're able to get rubber guard with Patty Pimblet. We're going to deny that transition right there. Make him pay with some nice elbows to the head while getting solid control time. We block a transition again, sweep into full mount right here. And now we're going for that mounted go go plata. He has real, real low stamina. So let's see the way he defends it. He started off nice, but he's, he's moving way too fast. He's going to get in a lot of trouble as his submissions get deeper. But he's going. He's, he has a pretty good lead on the escape bar. But we're starting to pick up on the pattern a little bit here. We're making up ground. Now it's, it's looking real, real ugly. It's looking it's not looking good. We might be able to get it. And we are able to get the mounted go-go plata on Dustin, the diamond Poirier. After having a horrible first round, able to get it done there in the second round. And that guy was so mad, he thought he had it in the bag. So much that he quit. Great, great first fight. We're able to make that comeback. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the second fight that we do have for you guys here on the video. Now, here we are, guys. We're in the second fight, and we're taking on a created fighter. Now, before this fight even starts, I'm going to tell y'all. You guys, if you guys watch my stream, this is the guy that I match up with at least four to five times in a stream. I normally don't take the fight because... He has bad connection, but uh, this time the connection was in the 70s, so I wasn't allowed to back out, and I, I was having real, real trouble finding a lightweight fight, so we just took this one. So here, we're just trying to apply the pressure just a little bit. You see he's moving off laterally. <coughs> Excuse me. Just trying to play it patient, not trying to rush, but we are gonna try to we are gonna try to do a little bit better in this fight on the feet. Than we did in the last fight. They were ripping to the body. Try to hit a slip straight because he did double jab. But he's popping off those switch kicks off the lag. And then a teak kick to the body. So that lets me know that he's going to try to drain our stamina. So there we clinch him up. Press him back up to the cage. Take the back. Hit the back sitting transition right there. And with a very, very good spot. I'm going to anticipate him going to backside right there. Block that thing. And we're going to try to take top mount. But he was on that denial, man. He was on that denial. He already knew what we was going to do. Gets his back in the backside right here. We posture up. Throw a couple strikes just to see what he's going to do. Tries to go for that full guard, but no, no, no. Wagging that finger. Dequinte Matumbo for y'all that watch basketball. That ain't going to happen. So you roll him back. He goes to sprawl. He's going to hit the transition before I could even deny it right there. He's going to try to go for a knee. And we get out of there. Block counter on the uppercut. So now we're right back where we started. Have him back up against the fence. He's throwing shots to the body. We're kneeing him to the head. But he is going to start draining our stamina. So we go ahead and release right there. Block the switch kick counter with an uppercut. So double jabbing into that block just to keep it down. And so for those of you guys that are trying to apply pressure in fights like this. Utilizing the jab is super important. You guys are going to see in this fight. You see how we're just popping out jabs. We're not just walking in with, with moving forward combinations. I'm just jab jabbing my way in to close the distance. Lowering his block down and then trying to land something significant. So I see he's not really blocking leg kicks. So we're going to try to check. We're going to try to throw a lot more of those as well. Nice front kick right there by him as he knew we were going to try to jab in. Hit him with a nice jab leg kick. There's a nice clean straight right there by him, though. And that's what we want to avoid. We want to avoid those straights that are just going to stop us in our tracks. Block counter again right there. So now with 55 seconds left, we're just looking for him to either throw something big or to just take what we have and just call it around and just win the round. There, hit him with another good leg kick. That leg's starting to get chopped up a little bit. Hit him with another one. He's responding back now. Just double jabbing. Nice hook right there by him as we were trying to slip off. There's a beautifully timed switch kick. Catch the knee, though. He misses on the combination. Nice jab straight body kick, and that's the end of the first round. 
Pretty solid first round. We did a lot of good work. We had some good control time on top. Uh, we didn't get rocked, so I would say that's our round. But we just need to be careful that this guy doesn't start throwing real, real dumb stuff. Because that's what a lot of creative fighters tend to do. So we're just on the lookout for that. He's missing on leg kicks as well. There's a little bit of a lag, like I said earlier. This guy does not have the best combination or the best, uh, the best ping. Normally it's like in the 170 range, but it dropped down to 70, so maybe he got some new internet or something. I don't know. But either way, he's still gonna get this work. There he misses on a leg kick and counter with a nice overhand. He's starting to fight back just a little bit more. Misses right there, time out of straight. Nice straight right there by him as we move forward. We're just trying to take our time, trying to stay patient, man. But against guys like this, it's it's very, very tough to, to stay with the game plan. Because you know, I know that I'm better than him. I really do. He's not really throwing out anything sophis too sophisticated to where I, I feel like I'm in trouble. But he's just backing up and moving laterally. Just kind of running. So we're just trying to take our time. Nice switch kick right there by him into a body teep. That tends to be his, his go-to combination, it looks like. So he's trying to fire off two pieces. We're jabbing, hit him with a good little calf kick right there. Nice switch kick again. Now we're pressing forward. We're trying to close that distance, but notice he as he catches us right there with a two-piece, notice whenever we plant, he moves off laterally and blocks as he does it. That's the most frustrating thing to do to an advancing player is really just to cut angles to where they can't even hit your block. That's what this guy is actually doing really, really nicely. So we're just going to try to adjust to that game plan. And now we have to get the damage back if we want to win this round. Nice one-two right there by him into a lead hook. Nice lead hook again. Stops us in our tracks. He's missing on his combinations. So chopping at that leg. It's going to lower the power down. Catch him with a good three-piece. Hurt him. Then go back to the body. Now we're just trying to stay in front of him with the combinations. You notice how we're just moving laterally with him instead of just trying to stay in place. But there's a nice switch kick again. Now we're just closing the distance. Double jab to knock him out of that animation right there. Hit him with a nice two-piece. Now we're starting to exchange a little bit more than what I would recommend you guys do. Do not exchange with people in the pocket like this if you are not comfortable. <coughs> First rule of thumb for stand-up fighters. There we catch him with a jab straight. Hurting him, double jabbing to lower that block down. And he's able to retreat because he used that push away animation. Very, very smart stuff. Trying to break through his block with a combination. He misses on that kick, but we weren't in range to counter it. Hit him with a good jab. Leg kick hurt him. Nice slip straight. Block the knee, though. We barely miss on that uppercut. As the second round ends, he got a rock on us, but we also got a rock on him. His head health is down low, just like ours, but his leg health, his leg is pretty much done. So... If he continues to block high, we're just going to continue to chop out that leg and get a leg health event so that way it slows him down and then we'll unleash on him. Here we close the distance immediately. He's missing on those strikes still. Catches us with a straight as we hit him with a good lead uppercut. Clinches us up trying to push us back. Ripping down to the body three times right there. Just let him know. If you start, if you start head spamming, bro, we're just going to hit that body. Not going to cap. Just taking our time. Nice three-piece right there. Hurt us. Tries to hit us with that jab straight head kick, but because he was so close, it went down to the body. So not a very good start for us here in this third round. So here we're trying to push forward. Good major lunge out of the way into a spinning back kick to the body. Tried to block counter, but he didn't throw the kick out. Double jabbing into the block. Trying to keep him in that corner by just throwing hooks because I know he's going to major lunge off. Breaking down that block slowly but surely. Try to hit him with the meta combo, but that doesn't work. Right there, slipped. But we were just out of range for the counter, though. Block breaking just a little bit right there. Catching with an uppercut hook. Hurt him. Ripping down to the body. Just watching for 
A flying knee, and there it is on the jab animation. Hits us with the, the wombo combo, but we up kick him right there. Very, very close round, but he's winning this one because he got that knockdown. So we need to try to get that get that damage back, get that knockdown back if we can. And we get it, do so successfully right there. Knock him down. Look at that head health on him. It's real, real low. So now we're just going to try to get the finish. We don't want to leave this up to the judges because we don't know if we're actually winning this round or not. So there he's breaking through our block trying to trying to knock us out with a three-piece combination. Still just putting the pressure on him. Catch him right there with a good jab straight. Trying to double jab. Hit him right there with a nice clean combination. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We were able to get that head health all the way down. And I'm going to show you guys Patty the Batty celebration. For those of you guys that haven't used him, this is it right here. This is his signature celebration right there. As we were able to get that dub with the Batty. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. It'd be much appreciated. I do post UFC 4 content on this channel pretty much almost every day, if not every other day. And I stream this game as well. But until the next video, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next one.